Welcome back to the Papa Meat channel. How you doing? How you doing? Come on in and sit on down. We have a criminal amongst our viewers, okay? Our viewer base here has some criminals, and it's a patron, mind you. So today, I'm gonna find out which one of these viewers is the criminal amongst the bunch. It's like a goddamn game of Clue. Also, if you'd like to be a part of future videos and get awesome behind the scenes content, feel free to sign up for the Patreon. We're gonna be doing more content like this, so please sign up, support the channel, and jump on in. It's like a little pool. You know, don't, don't dip your toe, just jump on in. Come on, jump to daddy. Jump to daddy. I'm here with my victim. Can you please state your name for the uh, for the record, please? Yeah, uh, Trent Mason. Trent Mason. Uh, now Son of Perry I... Mason. Okay, thanks. Uh, we got it done the first time. What is the crime that happened to you that brings you in today? I was just committing to my, you know, my daily. I head down to the gas station, and I was just intending to pick up, you know, a pack of skull and some beef sticks and i was waiting in line and then this guy comes in and he's holding like a big gun i wasn't really sure what type of gun it was and he starts shaking down everybody in the gas station but the thing that made it scary was basically he was able to maintain the gun pointed at someone the whole time while going into people's pockets with his feet and other times he would pick things up with his ass he picked things up with his with his, like, his, the cheeks or, like, the hole? Well, I think he would clench the cheeks, and then it would go up in the hole. And you saw this? Yeah. He took my lighter this way. Hey, he took your lighter. <laughs> okay, so, but essentially you witnessed a, a robbery of a person that was stealing stuff with chimp feet and their asshole, is what you're saying. Yeah, he robbed, there, there was five of us in line, he robbed every single one of us, then he emptied the cash register, and then he even went into the safe. Um, and then he shot the gas station attendant in the leg, and then he left. You know, he he went through all of my pocket. You know, I wear cargo shorts, man, so he, like, went into each pocket, you know? Yeah, he had a lot of, like, po methodically. Had a lot of pockets, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, um, if we can recall, we have uh, our special AI uh, interrogation uh, detective software uh, called Meat Support. Meat Support, could you uh, start your uh, Discord stream and... Uh, we could try to give our victim here a moment to recollect or recollect on what this horrible criminal looks like. What I'm going to do now as a police sketch artist, I'm going to, I'm going to draw from memory what you, th what you thought the guy looked like or girl, whatever you think it is. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to put gender into this thing, but you know, it is a part of the job in a way. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I believe we do have men and women in the interrogation room today. So we do have a wide, we we casted quite the net whenever we had the boys go out and pick up strangers who we thought did the crime. Okay, I'm, I'm remembering he, uh, I'm pretty sure it was, it was a man and he kind of, kind of had like a Joe Dirt type of appearance, but like, like bigger like a stronger Joe Dirt. Okay, so a, uh, so a bigger Joe Dirt. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen that movie. Uh, it's a classic. Me and my boys love it. All but right, well, what, what about the head shape? Would you say it's a, what kind of, like, if you had to just compare, I know what a David Spade head looks like, which is like this, no chin, kind of goes into this kind of thing, and he has kind of a big head because he's a short guy. No, no, it wasn't quite like that. His, his head was actually a bit more, it was a, more of a handsome shape, and... You know what? Like, if he cleaned up, he might have been... He might be a handsome guy, you know? So does yeah, kind of like that. Does this look good? That, that's feeling it more. It's just, uh, you know... And, and his hairline was, was good. It was what kind, good. What kind of hair did he have? He had, like, a mullet, and, and it was blonde. Um, but it was more straight. It wasn't flowy and beautiful. It was it was more kind of... You know? Yeah. Yep. Could you, what kind of what what weight did he have? Was he a bigger guy? Was he in shape? Was he kind of scrawny? He looked kind. Of, he he just looked kind of solid, you know, not not fat, but like big, like just a solid boy. Mm -hmm. He had a mustache and a goatee, and I want to say he had bangs. Okay, so we're dealing with a psychedelic '70s rock star. Is what you're saying? This is definitely more the vibe. Yeah. What kind of lips did he have? Like they were kind of thick. Yep. They were lips you could kiss, that's for sure. <laughs> Those do look like some kissable lips, don't they? And he had, he had thick eyebrows. And he had thick eyebrows, okay. 
Okay. How about his eyes? Did you ever did you catch his eye color or anything? No eye color, but his his eyes were were kind of kind of beady. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to get scared looking at this image because it's definitely making me recall some things. So you think if you saw if you saw this person in a lineup, you'd know who they are? I think so. Fucking god, I really need to work on my my, my my line worked there, so I can just do some simple fills, huh? Uh, what, what was his uh, ethnicity, his skin color? He, he he seemed like a Caucasian man, and his hair was, it seemed like it was a dyed kind of blonde color. So you think that this was an aesthetic choice that he decided to bleach his hair? Yeah. Uh, Jarvis, can you write that down? I keep saying Jarvis. Uh, <laughs> meat support, can you write that down that this is probably an intentional bleaching? Wider than that, more bleach bond than that. I, yeah, more more bleach. It's more like a golden, you know. If you could take the liquid from a like a golden corral buffet. So if I could the take chicken. the liquid from a golden corral buffet. Yeah, that sits beneath the fried chicken, and you could just put it in that's your oil. hair. That was right, kind. That's, that's the oil. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, I think that's what that is. Um, Mom always called it juice. <laughs> there it is. What about this? Does this look like something? <laughs> How's that? I think that's close. You know, you keep saying he, but with these descriptions, you have given basically the description of what appears to be a woman with maybe some hair lip. <laughs> I can't quite remember his lip color. They were kind of like a like a pale pink, though. They kind of seemed to just blend in with his face. So this is your, uh, your recollection. This is pretty much what you saw. Yeah, my heart is racing kind of looking at this. I'm starting to get a little bit of PTSD. What, how, how tall? You think he was kind of a staunch guy? He was probably maybe like at least five eleven, you know. And, I, and I'm five eight. I was looking up at him. My neck was broken. Yeah, you're a tiny guy, so you, your perception of what's tall is also kind of skewed too, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, you know, <clears throat> I, I I think this is about as as far. I just uh, and let me just get your your story straight again. So you you witnessed a robbery with five other people, mm -hmm. and you all got robbed by ass crack or foot. Yep. Well, um. If you don't sorry, mind, I'd like to bring in. Sorry, I'm so nervous. I, I'm in a come and go. I'm I'm so nervous. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You're pretty nervous, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the uh, I'm gonna take you in. We're gonna talk to four suspects that we think one of them is the culprit, and I want okay. to go in. We're gonna talk with them, and I just want you to help me see if we can't catch this perp. And get these goddamn criminals off the street. Okay. Uh, meet support. Uh, initiate sequence uh, interrogation. Okay. Here we are. Oh my god. Ever. <laughs> okay. Calm down, dude. All right. We got we got Trent. We got Trent here coming in. We brought these four anonymous people with uh, Discord names. Subject one will be Alex. Subject two would be Barson. Subject three will be existential Nathan. Subject four will be pancake. And God damn it, I don't want to repeat myself when I call on you. And I just want you to be honest. Honesty is key here. Um, I will be uploading my uh, police sketch that I made. So if everybody could go and take a look at that for a second and really process the image, <laughs> the uh, the crystal clear image. Oh man, I can't even look at it that long. Just... <laughs> okay. All right, you can. You, you're gonna have to look at it because I mean, we have to. All right. We have to get the you know, the, 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 the perp here. Who do I want to start with? Who, who do you want to start with? No, I, I have this lineup of anonymous people. Uh, what's, which subject would you want to you want Subject to two is freaking me out. All right, subject two. Could we have him scream? I'm going in with my feet. Don't fuck with me. I'm going in with my feet. Don't fuck with me. Did that sound familiar or? Not quite, no. He, he was much more aggressive and, and way more confident. I think it might be good to go around and have everybody say that line just once. Subject number one, could you uh, give us that line real quick, just in a screaming form? I'm getting beat with my feet. Don't fuck with me. Has a crazy kind of, uh, crazy kind of, you know, I, I'd, I'd believe that. I feel like I've heard that before at a Walmart or two. You you probably have, honestly. <laughs> okay, well, don't, 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 in, you know, incriminate yourself or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Subject number three, how about, can, can you, uh, Give us a nice uh, line read from what we said before, if you could. I'm going second. in with my feet. Don't fuck with me. That's uh, that's very stern. I, I felt a bit of a fear myself. That, that was. I just, I just closed my pockets. I did too. I got a little clamped up. Okay. Uh, and subject number four. Subject number four. Go ahead. Subject number four is refusing to speak. Is he taunting us? 
he might be. The silence is deafening. Figure. I can say between subjects one and three, that was definitely the confidence and sternness that I experienced. Uh, Trent, do you have any questions for any of these people just off the top of your head that might correlate with the uh, investigation? How do you guys feel about shoes? Honestly, all the cool ones are overpriced. I do all my shopping at Goodwill. I'm the best pair there. But you do prefer shoes? Shoes, sandals, flip-flops, anything that goes on my feet. Don't like socks, though. Hey, he loves he loves having no, no socks. No socks. Hmm. Hmm. He, he, he seemed to mention sandals as well. He, he, he likes shoes that are quick release. I'm not going to bring boots to the beach. I'm not a crazy person. Subject number one, just uh, what, what's your stance on socks as well? On socks? Or shoes. I'm sorry. Shoes? I mean, I can get down with a good pair of shit kickers and some tennies, but I also like freeing my tootsies from time to time. So you're saying about half and half? Yeah, yeah, a good healthy amount. Not enough to where, like, I got weird old calluses on my feet and there's dirt everywhere I go, leaving a little trail of dirt. Right, you're not trying to be disgusting with it. You wouldn't say that your actions are deplorable without shoes on. I mean, I wouldn't say so, but to others. <laughs> okay, that's... That's a bit. I actually, I have a follow-up question for subject number two. Nope. You say you're not wearing boots to the beach. How often are you going to the beach, being from the Midwest? I'm in Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes. There's beaches on those lakes. That's a good answer. That's a good counter answer. Seemed too prepared. He seemed, he, he seemed very ready. How is that being ready? It's like a valid hey. question and a valid hey, well, answer. Hey, well, hey, we'll answer the, yeah. Easy down. Sorry. Let's calm Sorry. down a second. Subject number four: Are you still a stack? Are you there? You have a stack. Are you? Are you with us? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh my God! Hi, I exist. I'm I'm real. I promise. I'm not a like weirdo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Weird thing to say in an in interrogation. In an interrogation, say, that's a that, that's a way to that's a way to start off. I, I, actually, for the can you say the line from earlier just so I have a full parameter? Yeah. Let's go ahead. I'm going in with my feet. Don't fuck with me. And then also for, to follow up on the second question as well. What's your stance on shoes? I'm a boot person myself. I like shiny boots. Shiny boots. That's all you wear. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you get shiny boots? Like a mall, I would say. Typically. Okay. That checks out to me. What's the worst crime you're willing to admit publicly here right now in the context of gas stations or convenience stores? If we can switch it back over to number one, subject number one, we'll go in order. I mean, nothing crazy. Maybe snatched like a small piece of candy, maybe? If I was feeling super dangerous, but mm -mm, the goat would eat me alive. Oh, the guilt. Sorry, I thought you said the goat. Uh, you, but you admitted, though, that you're, you, you've robbed. You're a robber. I can't lie. I know myself. So I'm just going to write down robber, then, if that's the <laughs> if that's what you'd like me to put down. Then. Okay, so robber. Subject two. What is the, uh, what, what's the, what, what's the worst crime you've done at a convenience store slash gas station? I can't say this is a crime in the eyes of the law, but I do think it's a crime in the eyes of the Lord. One day in high school, me and my friends decided to stop by a gas station nearby, picked up a donut, walked all around while my friends started picking up their snacks and their beverages for breakfast, got to the counter, decided, hey, I ain't got the money for it. And after walking around for a good 30 minutes with this donut in my hand, no wrapper, I put it back. It's disgusting. That's pretty if fucked make, up. It's like a pretty make disgusting thing. So you just put, did you see anybody else grab the donut real quick? An elderly man. Okay, so that's probably, that's probably, you might be, I'm, I'm tempted to put down murderer. That, I'm, I'm just going to put down chemical warfare. Subject number uh, four, can you uh, go ahead and answer the question as well? The worst thing you've, you know, the crime or worst thing you've done at a gas station or convenience store? So I don't think it's like the worst thing, but I... We'll let God box. decide that. I hotboxed outside of a of a gas station. Don't. So you said the, so you said <laughs> not the worst thing, but that's, uh, you know, you can go to prison for that. We're going to kind of look into what you just did. But so you, you smoked <laughs> weed and you probably, <laughs> did you sell drugs too? Were you a drug seller? I'm not going to over-incriminate myself here. So you you have the kind of general charisma that I found in most drug dealers. Can you give me a blanket answer, yes or no, have you sold drugs to anyone under the age of 12? No. Okay. She's lying. That sounded a bit like you were tripping on just a little bit. Uh, so I'm just going to put smoke, uh, you know, illegal drugs, possible 
drug dealer. That's okay. good. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad I got your <laughs> your uh, your uh, approval for that feedback. All right, so Trent, you know, we're, we're three questions in deep. We're almost. We're borderline halfway there, right? I'm gonna let you lead in with the next one. What's what's something that you want to ask somebody? Which one of you owns a gun? And don't lie, because the state will know. Let's start off with subject number one. I do not own a gun. Can you say that the, that the exact same way you just did? I do not own a gun. Okay, so you hear how suspicious that sounded, right? On the retelling of that. Yeah. Yeah. The the do not just felt very subject one. Yep. Can you can you just say it in the cadence just one more time? I do not. No, own that a gun. that's I mean, different. It's just a little emphasis. Yeah. That's yeah. different. You, know, you that's like different than what you first did. I don't have it. She's playing around with us. I don't. I, don't like I'm, I feel played I'm around with. Saying, I feel like if, if I may interject. Well, this isn't the court of law, so you can't. But I'll allow you to. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. But any Hoosier, I feel like after the whole situation with the donut, that should have been a case closed situation. Hmm. With suspect number two. People, they're trying to conspire against each other. Honestly, for this answer for you, I'm going to put probably owns a gun. I, I can't <laughs> fully funny. say that you don't. I, I don't know. I, I don't know entirely. You, didn't, you Her, weren't buying the emphasis? Okay, well, especially seemed, after that. You see, she, you see how she challenges you? She's challenging you. You're the law. She's challenging yeah, I'm you. I'm being challenged. Uh, subject number two. Do you, do you own a gun? I have firearms? No. But I do have two guns on me. And I have a whole chest full of Nerf guns. He's been nothing but sarcastic this whole time. I, it makes me just so it's incredibly. It, it makes me so uh, incredibly. My compass is pointing towards him. Is what I guess I want to say. You know, if I could just remind everyone in the lineup, this is a serious investigation. Okay, I saw four people robbed by foot. By foot. Okay. I saw a man shot in his leg, and then immediately after, I saw three hundred dollars taken from a cash register between a pair of ass cheeks and then this man left the gun was never not in our faces i just want you to remember that okay jesus i'm sorry uh subject number three can you let us know about the gun our chef is it trent you know sorry man you know, you're, you're being incredibly brave <laughs> subject number three uh do you own a, in, any kind of gun it depends on your definition of gun i i don't think i've ever had anybody uh anything that i would say anything that's a projectile that could shoot and injure someone is that, is that a fair trend is that like a fair assessment you know i i would say so oh damn well um yeah okay what, what's what kind what, what is it a toy gun that shoots very fucking hard okay it's a toy gun yeah uh and then subject number four do you have uh, any kind of weapons which you know as a drug dealer probably but i'm just gonna go ahead and ask the question anyways uh i, I don't believe in in those <laughs> okay well they exist so you're saying that you've <laughs> never owned a gun when hot boxing in your car when going and dealing in the i assume the streets no no i usually just have somebody else do that oh. sort of stuff for me you know you have, some, you have somebody else <laughs> carry a gun and use it on other people like a hitman i do yeah um okay so i'm just well, gonna i'm just gonna put uh hitman here. and a gang leader yeah, yeah gang leader probably I'll, I'll tell you something right now it's taking it too far subject number four let me tell you something you have really painted yourself up to be a like a very large crime syndicate like a drug like a drug like a th this isn't okay all right <laughs> move on uh Fifth question, and this is a little personal, you know, feel free, you don't have to answer this, but this does pertain to the crime. How, how am I going to go about this, Trent? How good are you with your feet? How good are you with your feet? And I'm, I'm going to say on the levels, the levels here would be from Stephen Hawking to full-on chimp. In terms of how you're able to maneuver and grip things. I would say, like, chimp. I think I'm pretty good with my feet. <laughs> That's a lot of confidence. I believe it too. She's almost mocking us. Well, okay. I'll, I'm just gonna write down chimp. Subject three. What about you? From the time I was born, I had the nickname Roadrunner because my feet were huge and I have finger-like toes. So I have basically hands on my feet. I can pick up anything on the floor. Jesus. Okay. So I'm gonna put chimp as well. That's two chimps. That's the that's the highest gradient so far. Okay. And then subject two. Between Stephen Hawking and a chimp, I'd say I'm a Professor X being a big boy but i have to put a lot of brain power into trying to use these little feet so you're saying that you're not very accessible with your feet no not at all 
Mm -hmm. And then subject number one. I mean, I was going to say, I thought it was pretty good, but I mean, these people put me to shame. I don't think I'm that good. I mean, I can pick up like a pencil or like a makeup brush or something, but I'm not doing acrobats or anything like that with my tootsies. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm just going to put half and half again. Subject one has been very, you know, just middle of the road. I just don't, I don't know. Yeah. It's just very non-answers. I just I don't know. There's just something about it. Okay, uh, so this is going to kind of correlate to the feet thing as well, and this pertains to the investigation. And I, I apologize for the crass nature of it, but do do you believe you could pick something up with your ass cheek? Do you feel like you would be able to clinch something? I mean, honestly, I wish I could. That would be a skill set that you could honestly make some money off of. But sadly, I cannot. Can you say that cannot one more time? Cannot. Can you just say sadly I cannot one more time? Sadly, I cannot. Yeah, we're, we're we're done with the with the cannot. I think I I got my answer. Okay. Uh, subject two. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, how you doing over there? I'm sitting here. Yeah, it's been a second. To be man. honest, like I said, being a big boy, I ain't gonna be doing. Oh, a whoa, lot hold of on! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, easy. Let's just talk for a second. Yeah. yeah. My bad. You seem like I you got know. something on your chest, there, buddy. What's going on? Nothing. Does he seem a bit more you know, skittish? Seems, seems a bit more skittish now, doesn't he? Well, I heard Trent's story, and I know how serious this is now. That or you're reliving events that's happened before in your life. He's kind of jumping to answer now. I'm going to just put make a note of that just real quick. Jumping. Jumping to your conclusion. I would assume you're... Are you sweating? I'm a big boy, so yes. Okay, well, I mean, I don't blame you there. Me too. That's probably a bad question. I've been sweating since 5 a.m., and it's 35 degrees out. The uh, So you were saying that since you're a big guy, you don't think that you could. I ain't going to be doing a lot of picking up with this ass while I'm dropping off. Okay, I just need you to say that one more time. There isn't going to be a lot of picking up with this ass, a lot of dropping off. Yeah, because it's full of other people's things that you got to shit out, I bet. I just got to shit, man. As a big man myself, I feel like I could, I feel like I could probably pick something up with my ass. Just to put that out there. I feel like I could probably... I probably could, uh, you know, carrying on all this weight. I got strong thighs. Subject number four, I, I'll be honest. I, there's not a lot of trust with me in you right now. If I had to give you a list of items, a pack of juicy fruit, a dime, and a set of car keys, are those things that you think you could pick up with your ass cheeks? I think two out of three. That's just, yeah. that's just so cryptic also. Can you just say which, which ones? What's the one you can't pick up? The dime. There's a lot of confidence in the other two. Okay. She's been bragging dime. about her feet too. I think uh, I'm, I'm gonna put just yes. That's all I wrote down. The lastly, subject number three is: it, Do you feel as confident as number four? Do you feel like you could uh, possibly pick something up with your uh, with your ass there? My dump truck can conceal a dump truck, so I think so. Oh, wow. okay. Another yes. Another just full yes. I'll tell you what, though. Subject number three, they just they have a level of honesty that I just I appreciate. You said be honest. I'm uh, I'm trying. Out of everybody here so far, if I had to shake one of your all's hands, it would be subject number three. Okay. Don't want to pick favorites. That's why. Th that's why I need to be cautious. Oh, officer. I am. I'm cautious of everybody, but I'm just saying that I'm gonna be bummed if I come across that this person is who I think is the is the criminal. Uh, Trent, is there another question you want to ask them? I have one, and I, and I want you to follow up. Have you ever harmed an animal? That's a good question. We'll start off with uh, subject number two. How about we? I've never harmed an animal. They're animals. They're pets. They're cute. Have you ever screamed at one of your animals? No. It ain't a kid. Well, that's... Hmm. Would you hit a kid? No. Can you say that no one more time? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to put hits children. I think that's a good idea. Uh, subject number one, uh, have you ever hurt an animal? Mm -mm, I have not. That's not my thing. I don't do those type of things. You talk in such a way where I feel like everything you tell me is a lie. <laughs> just can you... I just don't understand that. <laughs> Even that, I, I just don't understand that. I want you. Can you just oh. give me a simplified version of just your answer one more time? I just need just something. You don't have to repeat everything, but just do you? No, it's no. Ne have not. That could not sound more guilty. I'm just. I'm, I have. I'm. I'm sorry. I have to put yes. Uh, subject number three. I have. That's what. How, what'd you do? The most recent time was um for the pet's benefit. You hurt an animal at a pet's benefit. Yeah. How? What'd you do? I had to euthanize them, uh, my fish. I'm telling you, man. The level of honesty coming out of subject number three. Subject number one could learn a thing or two from uh, subject number three. And subject number four, have you hurt a uh, have you hurt an animal before? No, but I've yelled at my cats before. Okay, so I'm just gonna put emotional abuse. Officer, 
I know we're towards the end of the questioning here, but I just feel listening to these testimonies has put me in a place that I've just become too emotional to sit here and endure this much longer. And I, okay. Yeah. So how about how about we'll just go through we'll go through each subject, and I just want you to kind of tell us why. Give us your alibi and kind of say why it wasn't you. Why you're not the person who robbed five people at a convenience store at gunpoint with your feet and your ass. We'll start off with subject number three. Subject number three, can you let us know? Just because I have a gas station right down the street from where I live doesn't mean I committed that heinous crime. Okay. You know, I appreciate your, I appreciate you. This whole thing. Appreciate that. Subject number two. Well, currently it's uh, 24 degrees here, so I wouldn't be caught dead taking my shoes nor my socks off. But again, I don't wear socks. So I'm not going to be taking my shoes off because they're already cold. So your alibi is it's too cold. Too cold to take my, my shoes off. I'm not going to take them off and rob people with them. Okay. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I don't want you to say. I just, I, I just need you to say what you feel you need to say. I'm going to take my shoes off. I'm a good person. <laughs> That's all I have to say about the matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, subject number four. I also dropped my kid off at school, but then I smoked and I had the munchies and I went to the gas station and I grabbed some snacks and then I walk home. You're saying that you did go to the convenience store. I did. It just wasn't me. Was it a cough it, or a laugh? It wasn't me. It was a laugh. Okay. You understand how me. unbelievably suspicious every bit of that last part was. Jesus Christ. And then subject number one. There's no way that I could have done it first off. I mean, no, no, no. I've already feel like I've proven my innocence. My butt can't pick up things. I don't own a gun. I'm not even a dude. So I mean, case closed right there. But my alibi, is I was out trying to shoot darts. Trent, what time did this crime happen? It happened about 12.30 in the afternoon. So you were shooting darts at noon? You don't know my life. Okay, apparently I don't. If you had to guess, who do you think it is? It's gotta be Barlson, dude. Is that subject two? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm confident that it is subject two, and if anything, it might be subject four cooperating with subject two. Subject two, I think, is the one who did it. I think potentially subject four might even be behind it. Okay. I got done with my investigation and it was tough because let me tell you, a lot of you people, subject number three was the only, I hate to say decent person out of this group, but I do think that through the evidence, it has led me to two main suspects, subject four and subject two. My reasoning, subject four, you said nothing but literal incriminating things the entire time you've been on <laughs> the the uh, interrogation. I hotboxed outside of a of a gas station. I usually just have somebody else do that oh. sort of stuff for me, you know. You have, some, you have somebody else <laughs> carry a gun and use it on other people. Whether it's for this crime or not, I'm not sure. It's subject to you've done what I would like to say is a tight five in the stand-up scene. A little bit of jokes here, a little bit of jokes there. Oddly suspicious. Do you, do you own a gun? I got firearms? No. But I do have two guns on me, and I have a whole chest full of Nerf guns. I ain't gonna be doing a lot of picking up with this ass, a lot of dropping off. And also, you don't like socks. And that makes me suspicious as well, that you can kick off your shoes quickly. You can do something. Subject number one, I think that you are just an untrustworthy person. I wouldn't say that your actions are deplorable without shoes on. I mean... I wouldn't say so, but to others. You, but you admitted though that you're, you've, you've robbed, you're a robber. I can't lie. I know myself. I don't know if you've actually done a crime, but I feel like you, th there's something going on that you have done that you, you I haven't told anybody. So I don't know what about that is. But if I had to guess, subject number. I'm nervous. Subject four, are you the criminal? It's it's really not me. Oh my God. Is it's it actually not, not you? <laughs> no, it's actually not. God me. damn it. Who's the, who, wait, who, so who, wait, who's the criminal then? God damn it if it's you subject two. You'll never catch me. God damn it. I. You'll never catch me.
I hate that on the first one of these, I can't even get this fucking right. Son of a bitch. Luckily, since you guys duped the detective, which, you know, since I, it's, that, that must have been fucking hard since I, Jesus Christ. You're each going home with a little gift. And that gift is you each get a $15 gift card to Red Robin. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. $15 gift card. Please be sure to uh, take a picture of the burger that you do consume at Red Robin if you do end up going, or if you just give it to someone else, that's totally fine. It's your thing to do with. Duped! I can't believe that I am... I got it wrong. But I think we had a lot of fun. And uh, if you want to be a part of the next one, the next crime redraw and interrogation video, sign up for the Patreon. That's how we find these people to uh, be a part of these videos. Please uh, consider subscribing, being a part of the channel, or supporting the Patreon, and maybe even be a part of a video in the future. I love you all. Thank you so much, and have a great rest of your day.